all right so this is my 27 gallon shrimp pond and I'm gonna show you guys how it came to be and what you guys need to do in order to create an environment like this so basically a couple of years ago this started as a two gallon container with some shrimp in it with about two shrimp in it from an aquarium that I had before and I just got into knowing that shrimp were red I didn't know that there were red shrimp in the freshwater um, aquarium hobby so I decided to get a few and then I, as I started doing more research I began to understand that these shrimp can actually be bred in large quantities if you supply the environment for them and so I decided to expand their territory by putting them inside of a 27 gallon tub like the one you're seeing here and without very much time their population literally exploded and basically there's a lot of cover there's a lot of cover from from the um from the sub wasser tang plants that you see inside of here so you can't really see very many of them you can probably probably like see some of the large adults here and there but inside of those bush uh, that that brush cover is a whole lot of shrimps so you if i move them you'll see them but otherwise very simple them they need room if you provide the room that they need then their numbers will grow and so basically on the side of the plants sea chem iron sea chem potassium sea chem flourish and sea chem um trace elements those are the things that i use to sustain the plant growth and also putting in an air stone helps to turn over the water and break the surface tension and release the the gases that are in the water so you know you might have some co2 and other things in there and it's important that you make sure that you're getting rid of those waste gases that built up in the water to make room for the oxygen so that all of the plants have oxygen and the fish and the whatever other critters you're planning on keeping in there have oxygen to breathe because you know shrimp don't consume oxygen very well any resource shrimp don't consume very many resources at a rapid pace but it's important to make sure that they have enough to sustain their livelihood and you know that's pretty much it but in the next video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually put this together and what it is that you need to sustain it so that you can have results like this so without further ado I'll catch you guys in the next video take care and happy fish keeping